What's up, pug dicks? I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud, and don't talk about my pug's dick. You know what a pug dick is? Probably a dick pug. Buster. A pug's Buster, dick. come here. You want to show him your rocket? No. The guy means like, not really. No. <laughs> He's not likes, out right now. He just likes to show it to us. Anyways, welcome to the McStud Show. It's Shit Dick Saturday. Shit Dick Saturday. Which is exciting. That's nasty. And I'll tell you why Shit Dick Saturday is exciting. Because when you plow to Mrs. McStud's ass, you just don't know how shitty your dick's going to get. That's nasty. What? Sometimes it comes out looking like crunchy peanut butter. Sometimes it looks like the chocolate fountain from the Golden Corral. Oof. What? No. No? Why? That's not okay. Speaking of shit dick, she's, she made a roast tonight. Or, well, we kind of made it together. Um, yeah. But she put mushrooms in it. I just don't do dicks in my roast. Sorry. And then she sliced them. So now there's sliced dicks in the roast. But I seasoned the meat. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it was... And it's really good. Yes. I've only had a taste. Just a taste? Yes. Like the, like the Tiger song? But I'm but I'm going to... Hold on. Is this bigger than my cold? Yes. Remember, it's a 24 ounce. Oh. What? Okay. Oh. <coughs> Watch this. The basket behind you. I missed it. <laughs> and by a long shot. Hey! Oh, Buster's like, what was that? It's hey, okay, Buster. It's a bu basket moves. Watch. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you're okay. You're okay. He's Say hi, Buster. Everything. Say hi, Buster. Buster, you've been making an appearance lately. Buster er has been also making an appearance in my bed. Yes. Which he is uncomfortable. So he 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 slept by my dick today. Literally, Buster, he was cuddled Buster. up my crotch. Like you're, I was. You're fine. I was Buster. big spoon. Ouch. You're fine. And he was little spoon. I know. And I he, couldn't even get actually, over there. Actually, they were both little spoon. Yes. Somehow. I was trying to get over there. So and he's it like. Wasn't working. He's like a. A, do a pug sandwich between my cock and her ass. There's a whole fucking mess. What? <laughs> Poor dog. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Say hi, Buster. Cheers, Miss McStud. Shit dick Saturday. We are still in the process of un unboxing. We got like half our living room done last night. We picked up some curtains. And Miss McStud uh, mismeasured a uh, roommate's curtain length yesterday. So we had to get him another couple. What? I did not mismeasure it, and you measured it right. You just didn't read the packaging. Now, listen, Mrs. McStud, what she means by that. So I measured the, the width of the window. It was like 102 inches or something? Yes. Okay. So the curtain came with two panels. Well, two curtains. The curtains. And it said, uh, what did it say? 74 inches? Yes. I assumed that was 74 inches wide per panel. And there was two panels I was in like, the we're going to have plenty. Plenty left over. So we put them up and no, there was 74 inches total, which <coughs> was a whole mess. So we got, we got those taken care of today. And we've got to put up our living room uh, curtains tonight. Put up the TV on the wall tonight. And still unbox a whole bunch of fucking shit. Finally went upstairs to the attic uh, yesterday. And I tried. Yes, Miss McStodd tried to get her to come up and she got stuck on the stairs. It was. I felt horrible, but it was hilarious at the same time. Like she'd be shaking and shit. I had a major fucking anxiety attack, and I gripped the handle so hard all the way up that my fucking hand was cramped. Oh my god! By the time I got back down. Yeah, that was a that was a whole fucking mess. It really was. Uh, but no, the upstairs looks pretty cool. It's like half half floor, but we uh. Oh god! Danielle tried the mushrooms. Oh. She goes, I've never tried mushroom. They're not that bad. First time ever. They're dicks, essentially. Um, we are women. Yeah, this is true. I don't, I don't eat anything that looks like a dick, except for hot dogs, brats, sausages. <laughs> what? <laughs> Corn dogs. Um, what else do I eat that's dick shaped? Polish sausages. I guess that. A dick. A, no, I don't eat dicks. No dicks. No mushrooms. Just a dick. No, I don't eat dick. I didn't ask you to have a mushroom stain. Just a dick. No, that's inappropriate. We shouldn't be talking about that on video. Mm. You're inappropriate. Um, hey, there's some dirty laundry in mine. Yeah. Why are they up here? I don't know. And there's some of your daughter's dirty laundry, <laughs> which i got to start another load. <laughs> We're and a whole mess, aren't we? And there's some of your son's dirty laundry. Where the fuck? I oh, don't know. I don't either. Um, what else exciting happened today? Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. It's almost technically Mother's Day, mm -hmm. according to uh, the schedule of time. So, so... What are we going to do for Mother's Day? 
um, we're going to unpack. <laughs> That's what I wanted you to and, say. And sleep. And I'll give you a big hug and kiss and grab your butt. And breakfast, maybe? Breakfast? We can do that. We have, what do we have for breakfast today? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. We got the... I really want a biscuit. Mm-hmm. Like, I want a biscuit breakfast. Okay, we can do that. Now, what do we get? Was it a double... The XL... It was a grande step burrito. Toasted burrito. Toasted, yeah. Yes. Burrito. I got mine with steak. And I thought it came <coughs> with red peppers, because typically, you know, like those little wraps come mm -hmm. with red peppers that people put in their eggs. No, it's fucking tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes at all. But I really I'm, like McDonald's breakfast. Like their little wraps or whatever they got, the breakfast wraps, like yeah. got the little peppers in them. Those are pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I assumed from Taco Bell. Who wants fucking... That's what it looked like. Yeah, who wants tomatoes? And Did you like tomatoes in your eggs? Today, I think, was the first time I ever had that. And their tomatoes were nasty. Yeah, they didn't look so hot. Some they weren't of her, right. I literally dissected my burrito just to get them out. And there was like a pile on this side, a pile on this side. It just wasn't that great. I, uh, I don't, uh, what, like, as, a uh, the dude would say, the dude does not abide. <laughs> right? You don't even know that movie, do you? No. Nope. Uh, she's never watched The Big Lebowski, have you? No. That's another movie we've got to add to your, uh, experiences. Took years, but she finally watched Office Space, and so now we gotta get the uh, Big Lebowski. But you've never seen Orgasmo either. No. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. I want to give you the Orgasmo reader. Who sells breakfast around here? What do you mean? Who sells breakfast in Newcastle? Wendy's, Burger King. I want Party. like a platter. Oh. Hmm. Stacks. They don't have platters. Not really. Not like what we want. I want like a platter, like um, Bob Evans had. Don't have Bob Evans anymore. I don't know what else is around here that has breakfast. I'm not look. Um, I mean, McDonald's does, but their platters are a fucking joke. Yeah. And their eggs you can pick up and throw against the fucking wall. Like, a McDonald's breakfast <laughs> platter literally looks like uh, something you get at a school. With a little styrofoam container. Yeah. And they're, they're chintzy ass. Oh fucking, my gosh. What? Everybody always talks about this fucking restaurant. They have breakfast. It's called Park Restaurant. Oh, I've heard about that. I have no idea where it's at. Yeah, it's on three. Uh, probably across, around there across from like Burger King, I believe. Somewhere in that area. Or they across, open today. Oh, it's across from Subway, I think. Across the street. Oh. Yeah. And then Cafe Royale. They open at 6.30. Maybe that one's the one that's across the street from there. There's something right across the street from there. The Subway. Subway makes breakfast. Oh, Lord, she killed it. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, at least she enjoyed it. So Miss McStud's having the uh, the uh, dick roast tonight, and I don't like it. So we had some chicken breasts, and uh, so we were <coughs> another early morning trip to Walmart today, like literally before eight a.m. Yeah. But it was nice in there. Yeah, it that was. early. Um, so I'm looking for something to cook my chicken breasts in the crock pot with. So we finally find the marinade section. They got the beet up sauce. I'm like, hmm, and uh, my favorite beet up sauce of all time is mango habanero. And I found it. And she promptly told me no. <laughs> I'm like, damn it, man. No, oh, because I have to sleep with you fucking moaning and whining and crazy bullshit. Well, they could have got blazing. And then you would have been worth a damn trying to help me unpack. No. That's true. So, like, all right. And what, for those of you that had a beat of this Buffalo Wild Wings, I don't know if that's everywhere or just like regional. I don't um, know either. But, uh, she has never had the teriyaki wings from there until recently. And I changed her life with those. So, yes, because that's all I get now. So they didn't have the beat ups teriyaki. I was like, that'd be great for the chicken breasts we're making. So Sweet Baby Ray's has a teriyaki sauce. I'm like, okay, let's try this. Never had it. Love, Sweet Baby Ray's is the shit. Yeah. When it comes to barbecue sauce. <clears throat> so we get it home. Oh my God. What? I said, I still already do. You got to carry on and remind me. Okay, so we, we, we're we pouring the sauce on the chicken breast. I'm like, I got to try it. Actually, I tried it before we did it. Mm -hmm. it. Tastes just like the Buffalo Wild Wings teriyaki sauce. Fucking amazing. It smells amazing. It's cooking right now. Mine won't be done until later, but yes. So what's your uh, idea? I can put that teriyaki on meatballs. Teriyaki meatballs. That probably would be pretty fucking good. There is a such thing. Uh-huh. I've seen recipes of it. Which kind of meatballs should we get for the teriyaki? Because they have the, like the home style and they have a different kind of meatball. They all taste the same to me. Do they? Not. I probably wouldn't use the Italian. I'd probably use home style. Uh-uh. The Italian... The they're, they're seasoned. 
Yeah, if they're seasoned, I don't know if that would be bomb. They're good. I don't know how it tastes with the teriyaki sauce. Um, but I could do that with, um, I hate being on fucking Facebook Messenger. Anyways. <laughs> You can do that with Is what? this one going off? I think it will. I don't know. Um, I could do that and then cook some like noodles. Mm hmm. <coughs> Not spaghetti. Yes. Like maybe like type of lo mein noodle mm -hmm. or a rice. You know what? I, you and know, that I, would be really fucking good. I feel a little weird saying this. For as many, not, many times we've been to Chinese, you know, I got like my, like my Chinese chicken nuggets, my mm -hmm. teriyaki on a stick. You know, my sweet and sour chicken shit without the sweet and sour sauce. I've never had the lo mein noodles, but they look and smell really good. I've actually never tried them, but they look really good. Wait a minute. I've never had the lo mein noodles. Oh my God. What the fuck is wrong with you? Because I always fill up on the, the Chinese chicken nuggets and the teriyaki. They're stick. seasoned mm -hmm. with, uh, it's soy sauce. Mm -hmm. It's a soy sauce mixture. Mm -hmm. Um... But lo mein noodles are my favorite. Like sometimes when we got Chinese mm -hmm. delivered, mm -hmm. I would get lo mein noodles. Yeah. And you can get them with chicken or and pork. I've got you some of the frozen dinners with the lo mein yes, noodles. Yes, they're I so just, fucking good. They smell really good and they look really good. I've just never had them. Oh, God. Like, you not, have to. not that I wouldn't try them or I'm afraid to try them or anything. I'm not afraid to try shit. Like, I remember we went to that. It doesn't have any meat in it and it, and it has like carrots mm -hmm. in them. But, I mean, you, you like, you're okay with carrots. Yes. So you would like them. Remember when we went to uh, the King Buffet, mm -hmm. Muncie with your parents? I tried the calamari. Yeah. Actually, it was just, I don't even know if it was a squid or a little octopus. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it calamari. Remember like the baby octopus? Yeah. And those are really good. The tabanyaki grill, you could make your own lo mein. Really? Yes. That place isn't open anymore, is it? No. That was pretty But good you place. fucking put it all in a bowl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like your noodles and they had a buffet where you could put whatever meat you wanted in it whatever veggies and all that and then they cooked it right there oh on that big on that big skillet yes yeah, and you could tell them extra juice or mm -hmm. you know what that reminds me of what when i went to uh vegas at the mgm grand mm -hmm. their breakfast buff i think i told you about their breakfast buffet which is fucking I immaculate so. and like because you go through there and like like big old plates of bacon yeah. I'm just like, pile on. I got a plate of bacon, you know, <laughs> and I got the the sausage and all the other shit. And they had a, a uh, omelet bar kind of thing. So you go up there and you just tell them what you want in your omelet, and they cook it right there in front of you. Yeah. It takes them a couple minutes. I really like and that it's fucking, and, kind of stuff. And the cool thing is when we went to the buffet, well, we've been there a couple times, um, but one day it was the champagne breakfast buffet. So we hadn't been drinking all night, you know. Oh, we're like, Lord. we want breakfast, and it's champagne breakfast. And the waitress was getting angry with us. Because we needed more champagne, constantly. Because they give you a little champagne glass. I'm like, we need more champagne. That's all we were drinking. We weren't drinking anything else. We just, <laughs> that's like champagne breakfast. Yeah, that was good shit. Um, yeah, that, that, I think it was, God, if I remember right, I don't know if we got a deal or what. I think it was like 25 bucks a person for that. She said, tell Chad to try it. LMAO, it would be really good with some bread and butter. Bread and butter is good with everything, first and foremost. It really would. I mean, like, uh, if you be, if, if, everyone should love bread and butter, especially if I'm eating this McStud's ass. I want some bread and butter to go with it. Right? Mm. No? We don't eat ass here. No, we're not ass eaters. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that just reminds me of something. Oh, God. How does that remind you of something? Hi, Buster. You know the... Buster's the, a good boy. You know the animal called the uh, ant eater? Mm-hmm. Yes, what if there was an animal called the ass eater? Oof. Yeah, you know, it's got a little nose, like yep. the eater does, and it just goes up your butt. And, like, has a tongue that comes out and it swirls around your chocolate starfish. Yeah. And then it just slides in and gets, like, That's you clean. Nasty. Why? Eef. Oh, Lord. What? Here's your breakfast menu. Oh, shit. What do we got here? Let's see here. Um. Oh. There's yes. your breakfast sandwich. Oh, you can choose toast. Yes. Oh. Oh, wait. This is where we're Oh, at. breakfast wrap. Oh. Isn't it? Oh. Oh, wait. Go back up. Go back up. What's this? Biscuits and gravy? Okay. Half full toast, oatmeal, modern oats, breakfast sandwich. Now, breakfast sandwiches. I want platter. For those of you that like biscuits and gravy, I think a rule of thumb, which I failed at the other day, 
is you always get some extra bowl of oh, the gravy. Oh, extra bowl of gravy, yes. Because sometimes they give you giant biscuits and there's just not enough gravy. So you're eating just like dry biscuit with a little bit of gravy. Especially if they're home cooked biscuits, I can yeah. always tell. They're like yeast biscuits yes. or something. And, uh, Those are home cooked, but you really need extra. Don't get me wrong, they were good. Product. They were good. But I needed extra gravy. Like, I couldn't put enough pepper on it. He's chewing the string from your shirt on that drying rack. Buster! Stop. Nope, now it's stuck to his paw. Now quit. Come here. <laughs> Look at him, Buster. Come on. Come here, Buster. Come here, Buster. Buster, come on, buddy. Come, come on. Come here, baby. And he's like, no. <clears throat> oh. Buster. You know what? We need that picture of his face right there. Like, the dumbfounded <laughs> look. And just put that on the wall. So, like, when people walk in, they got this dumbfounded <laughs> pug stare. <laughs> and they're like... Oh, well, that's a cute dog. Look how he's just <laughs> Yeah, like he, you know what? Buster has a look of like a parent's disappointment. You know that Buster, face? no. You know that disappointed look parents give you? Yeah. Buster always has that. But he's, he listens. <clears throat> he listens really well compared to the other dog. Yes. Oh, that, you know what? We need, you know where we need that look of disappointment picture at? Where? Right in front of the toilet. In the bathroom, so like if a dude standing there taking a oh piss, Lord. they got this look of disappointment from Buster, like looking That'd at his dick. That'd be funny shit. I'm like, what the fuck? You're like, I go in your bathroom, this dog's looking at my dick like he's just sad. I'm like, well, get a bigger dick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Clean that shit every once in a while. That'd be epic. That reminds me, here's another story. <laughs> so, when I worked at the bowling alley in college, right? Mm -hmm. There was an older dude to come in, always bowled, really cool guy. But his son was like super douchebag. Like he was like high strung. Yeah. And he always come. He had he had to open carry his pistol and he had to show everybody it. And one of those one of those douche knuckles. Yeah. You know, like oh, look at my look at my look at my shit. Like no one gives a fuck about that. Put that shit away. So, anyways, me and my roommate, they had a party. One night at their house. Right. So I'm like, okay. And my manager, which we were friends, we he was like, you guys should come over to this party. I'm like, All right. So we go over to the party. Dude's house is cool. His son's a fucking complete tool. So I had to piss. So I go in the bathroom. Okay. This yeah. is how self-centered and narcissistic I would think I'd call this guy. So you go in their bathroom. And you go to take a piss. And literally right in front of the toilet. There's five pictures of this douchebag. All with him with his gun. Right in front of the fucking toilet. Why? Like you're taking a piss and you're just looking at this guy. like oh, posing with his fucking pistol. I'm like what kind of shit is that? I'm like... <laughs> This and he wasn't one of those guys like to fight too. He's like, I just chose you, dress. You fucking pussy. People like that shouldn't have guns. No, they should get their ass kicked, <clears throat> their ass handed to them every time. Uh, but yeah, that was that was awkward. Like, it, it's weird to go into a bathroom and just have some guy staring at you, especially like doing weird poses. And then, and then, think, why was his picture in the bathroom though? Because that's Did what he worked he, there. No, this is at their house. Oh, at his house, at their personal house. Why did you go to his house? They were having a party. That's what I said. And my manager was friends with his dad, which he didn't like his son either. First off, mm -hmm. if somebody comes into a workplace uh -huh. that acts like that, no, I probably wouldn't want to associate with them outside of business. No, it was his dad. His dad was a cool guy. His dad invited us over. But then his son ended up being there. Got you. And his son lived with him. But hold on. Mm -hmm. So his dad had pictures of his son well his son lived with him so his son put those in there like his dad was really cool but his, his dad was okay with that probably not but his son's overbearing crazy douchebag no yeah like that would creep me out i'd have to leave yeah it was really creepy like I'm i like, walked because I, I went to piss and i was like i come out to my room i was like dude you gotta go to the bathroom he's like why he's like just go to the bathroom and then come back out and tell me he's like i like yeah that's some fucked up weird yeah, shit I, would have to, <laughs> I mean i'd have to leave at that moment <laughs> I'd be like, you know what? I'm sick to my stomach and I got to go. Yeah, it was just an awkward thing. Oh, no. Yeah, like, who? I mean, who puts, like, pictures of themselves in the bathroom, first and foremost? Like, the bathroom is, like, when you get flowers or... At your you know, parents, some, too. Or, like, some home shit, you know? Like, yeah. some kind of outdoors, like, scenery no. shit. Not, like, you don't put, like, pictures of yourself in the bathroom. Mm -mm. At what point do you sit, take a piss and a shitter and you're, you're, you're take a piss and a shitter? You know what I want to do? What's that? And for one of our bathrooms. What's I've that? always wanted a bathroom with lighthouses. See? That's what I'm talking about. You put like some yeah, shit I'm gonna like that. Do, I'm going to do lighthouses in a bathroom. Um, oh, and I had this idea last night that I told Miss McStud about today. So in our living room where we're sitting up, there's a little spot where no pictures will sit that goes into our roommate's room. 
I was like, I want to get some of those wooden letters, spray paint them black. That's like a custom living room, but I want to say McStud on the top of the fucking thing. Yeah. Like we have a custom fucking McStud living room. Yeah. Like y'all think this is a joke. Nah, I take this shit seriously. Not really. But you know, just for shits and giggles. Buster! People come in and are like, oh, this is the McStud's house. Buster! Come here! But I've literally thought about changing my last name to McStud as well. Yeah. Yes. And you could be Mrs. McStud for real. <sighs> what? Leslie McStud. If I ever get married. It, well, you're supposed to have a big wedding. I'm not having a, no big wedding. I'm sorry to crush the dreams. We're well, not crushing <laughs> my dreams. Like you said, we've been together for fucking 10 years. Well, I, I just want a drink. We, we want a drink. At we want this a party. Point, I just want a drink. Like, we're not your typical couple. We want to have a good time. Like, it's, you know, yeah, I'm not typical. wearing a fucking dress, and I'm not doing all that bullshit. We're not traditional at all. No? We like to do our own thing. And make it our own. And we're probably shotgun a beer. Yep. Like, right. right up there. With the... With whoever marries us, yes. we'll shotgun a beer with us. Yeah, they give you that an out pronounce you man and wife, so then we shotgun a beer, then and we you kiss. Can, and you can kiss the bride. We've already kissed for 10 years. Give me that beer. Well, we can get our kiss done after we shotgun the beer, you know what I mean? But we got to do it Stone Cold Steve Austin style. Like we say and look, like, beer me, bitch, at the same time, and they fucking both chuck us a beer. That's funny. Yeah, that's what I'm talking That's the kind of wedding we want. Like, we're not... The same with our funerals. I always said we want to set back cash aside... For our funerals to have fucking open bars. Like, this ain't no fucking sad fucking thing. You play the music we like, enjoy, have a fucking party, and remember us for what the fuck we were and what we enjoyed. Don't go there and fucking cry at my fucking funeral. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a whole playlist. Yeah. <laughs> we set up the custom playlist that's to be played. Yep. At the funeral. The custom bar with our favorite beers that people can drink from. And they can have hard alcohol if they want. Um, and then maybe we can have like a, a stockpile of t-shirts made. So everyone gets a fucking t-shirt like and the rest of them can be given to like uh they can take them to goodwill or give yeah. them to, give them out just hand them out to people that need clothes you know what i mean mm -hmm. see charitable and nice and what we want yeah <laughs> and that's that's the mcstuds right there we crazy like that but my my kids and my parents seem to think i want this huge wedding and i really don't mm -mm. You know, I just want to wear some a jeans and some t a t shirt. And I might wear jeans and I might not. And a comfortable, sh some comfortable shoes. I might go down there naked. <laughs> well, that's, I told her, I told her, I was like, we gotta have this big wedding. Like, parents want them. I'm gonna wear some assless chaps. I don't know why. Like, my my dad mm -hmm. has married my two sisters. Mm -hmm. One of them got married in a cabin in Tennessee. The mm -hmm. other one got married in Tennessee, but at a venue. Mm -hmm. And now my dad wants me to have this extravagant wedding. Yes. I'm like, why? I don't want a wedding like that. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want that. You know, I, you know my wedding, I don't, I don't know how old we're going to be, but literally, they need to play that song by E-40 and Gangsta Boo called Let's Fuck. Like, oh, I want that played at the wedding. I'll have to warn my dad first. Like, what? now they're going to play this. I mean, at our, our, oh, no, that at a funeral, not our wedding. Oh. Yeah, that can be played at a funeral. Let's fuck. <laughs> you know, have some, make some babies at our funeral, even if you're old. Try to, anyways. Enjoy yourself. Get your dick wet. You know what I mean? What? No. Why? I don't want to encourage old people to do that. Well, there'll be, there'll be people we know. We don't know a lot of people. Well, we do know a lot of people, but not a lot of people we hang out with. You know what I mean? I don't hang out with nobody. <clears throat> no, I don't either. That sounds amazing. What's that? Pizza noodles, mashed potatoes, <clears throat> rolls, and peas. No peas. I we, like peas. We can substitute that for green beans. We could do green beans. But you can have peas. I like making cream peas. Oh. No. The extent of the love of my... Yeah. <laughs> no, listen to this. I was about to say the extent of my love of the penis. Peas. Eef. So, when I was a kid, yeah. and still this day, Campbell's split pea with ham soup. Yeah. That shit comes out looking green and nasty. Oh, my God. I loved it as a kid. Put crackers in that shit. Like, that's where I learned cracker thick with soup. Yeah. As a kid. Like, I did it on my own. I didn't realize it was a thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't invent it, but I learned it. I'm like, man, I've seen some crackers. I love just fucking split pea with ham soup. We call it pea soup. Mm hmm. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Split pea soup. No, just we call it pea soup. Like, I want some pea soup. That really is a thing, though, but it's nasty looking. I won't try it. You see, I probably would like it. It's, it's probably it's, like cream peas. No, it's nothing like cream peas. Cream peas, I think, <clears> is like a bag of dicks, but the pea soup? That sounds so fucked up. Call it pea soup. Like you piss in it, but now I fucking loved it. Like I, that's what, that was one of my favorite foods as a kid. Pretty must be in the bathroom. Yes, 
but that was one of my favorite foods as a kid and I didn't like vegetables. Another fucked up story. You know how old I am, right? Uh, well, it's, it's a, the cartoon's a lot older than I am, but it, it was on all the time. Popeye. Remember Popeye? Yes. You know, and you ate the spinach and you got you big. The, how to eat the spinach to get muscles. So, yes, so as a kid, I was like, oh, that sounds like a good idea because you, you don't know. That's just like a cartoon. So I told mom, I had to talk to my mom and to give me some spinach. She's like, you're not going to like it. I'm like, no, I want some spinach. I'm like, okay. So my mom caved and she went and got some spinach. And her and my grandma cooked it. One of the two, I'm like, yes, I get spinach. I'm going to eat this and get some mussels. Nastiest fucking shit in the world. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what I was thinking. That was horrible. Like, it's not even like that. But as a kid, though. But it's not even like the spinach dip you use, like with chips. No. You get like an, no, it doesn't taste nothing like that. It tastes like complete ass. I'm like, well, that was a horrible idea. I don't know why Popeye. Didn't get an ash right away. Some of my yeah. Mickey's. Oh, I'm stuff. sorry. And like Popeye, he's you know he just pops the top and that shit flies up in the air and it goes in his mouth the whole can. Not here. I don't do that shit. And that's fucking gross. Mm. Not for me. You got bad head. I'm gonna make you get a haircut. I do got bad head. Oh shit! Look at you can see it on the camera. <clears throat> ah, what did it? Ah, Buster. I got. Malachi. Uh, you can't. Maybe you can kind of see it. Uh, my my uh, old man gray is coming in. It looks even better with this fucking. I have some sort of. Oh. What? I forgot what shirt I had on. Oh. Eve. Was in that. Oh. You don't have to go to Walmart tomorrow, right? Yes, I gotta get an extension cord. Oh, I gotta get right. I gotta get roommate gloves. Oh yeah, we gotta get gloves. We gotta get an extension cord for your son's room. I will take one to Walmart. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I think that's it. Unless we need some more covers for like outlets and shit. Um, I don't think we need anything else. Um, yeah. Fucking Walmart. But at least Walmart has some of the shit I like. Well, you're going to be busy whenever I do. <clears throat> I'm unpacking. What well, pisses me off, one of, the th one of my favorite things for Walmart, we like the subs. Mm -hmm. so this Walmart always has the roast beef and cheddar subs. Great. And it always has, like they used to make it way better, it was the chicken Caesar salad comes in a big bowl. I'm like, I fucking love it. And Meyer made it too. It wasn't as good as Walmart's. So I'm like, because Walmart, their, their chicken's kind of shredded a little bit. Walmart gives you big chunks. So I'm like, I looked, I'm like, oh my God, they got it. No, there's like four fucking pieces of fajita chicken in this whole giant fucking salad. I'm like, no. That's like a whole room. You're like, supposed to cut it up. You can't. Like, I, you almost have to buy a fucking bag of fajita chicken to go with it. And, will you quit that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at <laughs> these done. dogs. Oh, God, I'm <laughs> no, he's bite. I, I was making sure he wasn't biting his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's biting the rack. <laughs> oh, boy. These crazy boys. Oh, there you go. Oh, you're going to knock that over. <laughs> Are you having fun, Malachi? Are you having fun? Look at him. <laughs> Buster, what are you doing? Oh, you're a toilet flush. Look at him. Oh, he's like, oh, I'm not doing nothing. Yeah, I'm not doing nothing. You try to try to make it look innocent when you come out, you crazy fuck. No, no, and no. Um. Anyways, while I'm unpacking, you're busy. You well, gotta put Baracus up. Yep. In my laundry room. Yes. You're gonna put tile underneath the kitchen sink. Well, the tile underneath the kitchen sink. Yes, you are. Oh, is there holes? Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't know that. And you're gonna have to cut, cut the tile of the hole. Okay, I can do that. that I can do that. But uh, the, the laundry room's gonna have to wait till we clear that up a little bit. Um, but I can. Uh, I gotta put the curtains up, <laughs> right? Gotta put the curtains yes. up. And there it goes. I got a uh, two TVs to mount. My drill's charging, so I should be ready to go. But I want to eat. Mhm. Mm but you can't eat. So I'm not really. Hung I'm not really hungry. It's still early for me. You know what I mean? What do you mean no? No, oh, Mrs. McStud, you crazy fool. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's love right there. There, I had a kiss on the cheek. Mmm. Melt my heart. Whatever. Now my dick's hard. Don't play. <laughs> Don't take. She kissed me on the cheek. Doesn't care if it's my left cheek, my right cheek, my ass cheeks. Boner. What? Can you hook up our TV in the living room too now? Yeah, that's ready to go. That's, we got the power strip, right? I gave you two yesterday. Yeah, it's all right. Take one and put it there. Yep, it's all ready to go. Let's go. Oh, we'll do it. Well, we need to get it arranged, and I'll set it up. 
It is a rage. Well, we gotta get the rest of the shit out and then the couch moved where we want it. Why the fuck are you hook the TV up right now? Because I can watch it on the bed. Oh yeah, you can. We can put in some porno. Why? Like, uh, like uh, midget porn. No. You know? Your late great uncle would be proud of you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go find. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like order some midget porn on. Hey, I got a Jello shot. Oh, you do. I'm gonna do that. Oh shit! I saw this. Oh. Energy. Oh, you know, you mentioned that Jello shot. They had a whole box of them. They can get a whole container of Jello shots at that liquor store. I saw them today. How much? I don't know. It was just in a box. Oh, like a whole box? Well, it was a box of little containers. Remember how uh, the roommate got the the bag of like the the mm -hmm. Fireball? It's like a container like that. Oh, like in that liquor store, in Lawrence had the thing of the 99, 99 shots. Mm -hmm. That, it's like, kind of like that, but it was jello shots. It was called. <laughs> it's not like second egg, it's called slurp. That's what they're called. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <coughs> slurp. Man, it sounds like a blowjob. I'm like, well, what do you. Buster. That's a, that's a broom, buddy. Come here, bud. That's a boom. Boom. And not a boom, a broom. Um, Come here, bud. Buster. Come okay. here. Okay. Get up here. Come on. Get your little butt up here. He's stretching. What? What? Yes, yeah, I still want to. Yeah, I've got to get the, the Buster look of disapprove or disappointment. You need a breath mint though, because your your mouth be stinking like ass. We got him the dental sticks. He needs one. He does. Yes. Don't you? We can't be having no you ass brush breath. Teeth. Huh? You brush your teeth? Yes. Okay. He's, he's like, like <laughs> that's his like look of what the fuck. <laughs> Buster always has the same expression no matter what when he's happy when he's sad. When he's nervous, when he's scared. He licked my hand. Did he? Yeah. Oh my good, that didn't, goodness, I didn't have it very often. He, no. Mmm. Buster. He's getting better. What if I put one of those little, you know those little sticky hands you can flop against the wall? Mm-hmm. What if you put one of those in my dick? Oof. What? I want to pack my kids' boxes, but my daughter is so picky, man. Mm-hmm. She got to have it where she wants it. Or I'll be moving in next week. OCD. And then this small ass room, this is her daughter's room right now, where... Still not unpacked. And there, there's literally not much room in this room. She'd be like, I want to rearrange my room. How? She'll want to flop her fucking bed around. Like, there ain't nothing to rearrange. But that TV stay in there. We we'll have to take her bed down if she wants to rearrange it. Yeah, but when that TV's going up, that's where it's at. That's what I told him. You find a TV where you want it, and that's where it's staying. Because that mounting shit's a bitch. But they don't want it over your head this time. Mm-hmm. Because I think they realized that it was high. Like, mm -hmm. it hurts her neck to look mm -hmm. up. That's there. Mm -hmm. And then I'll put her in ice stand there. Mm -hmm. She should be good to go. Yeah. I think that fan will look good on top of that. Yep. And then she'll have this area. Yeah, there's more room in here than I thought there would be, which is she good. She has a pretty, she has a pretty nice setup. Yeah, and then your son's got the big room this time. Well, That's, she's got two small rooms, but he's, yeah. he doesn't know what to do with himself. That. He doesn't. <laughs> he's like so excited. He was like, I'm su he's like, I'm surprised you you guys didn't take this room i was like we don't care if there's enough room right there like we just happy to have a room like it ain't that big of a deal i don't have two shits i don't either i was like enjoy it and he's like man i can put this over here and this over here i'm like yeah you got some room to maneuver you know if your friends come over they got places to fucking lay and, and he's shit. always had the smallest rooms yeah he don't he never cared he's like i'll take a small room he's like oh he likes it compact sometimes but now he's got room he's like he, he, you're like well how do you want the sub he's like I don't know. So why do we need an extension cord? Because he wants. <coughs> where's where's TV's at right now? Or the, the for his lap for his right, computer? Stable, yeah. He wants that over in the other corner, which there's only plugins on this side of the room. So I need the 25 foot extension cord. That's crazy. I want to put I want to put along the baseboards of the wall. Yeah. All the way across, so he can plug in his power strip, do like a good extension cord, uh -huh. not one of those chintzy ones, and. uh he can have Buster. his he can have his computer over there and he wants his TV right in front Buster. of his bed. No. <clears throat> and he, that's that's how he wants it. And I know where they want their TVs. And you know, he, he texts me today, he's like, Can you send me a picture of my room? I was like, it looks the exact same as when he left because we haven't got up here yet. That mattress is still in there too. Right. I gotta set up our room. How do you want to arrange our room? I got an idea. I was thinking of our bed against that wall. So I can put my TV up here so I can play. Long ways yeah. and the, the dressers. I need to get that other dresser out of Sissy's mm -hmm. room so I can paint mm -hmm. that room. I need to paint that room. Yeah, well, so much work, very little time. 
I mean, we have plenty of time, but it's so much work that we don't have enough time to do it all right but now. But I wish I would have done shit this morning. I had like a huge second win. Like I should, I kind of <laughs> think I should have just stayed up. Yeah, Miss McStead took like about an hour and a half. Yeah. An hour and a half nap. And I stayed awake all night. And uh, I woke her up. Then we went to, you know, went to Walmart, <coughs> had breakfast, went and took the parents' dogs out. Um, and then come back home. And then she had to make uh, food, and our, our awesome fucking neighbor mowed our yard for us. He's amazing, um, which is cool as shit. Um, but yeah, so she needed, uh, I helped her cut. No, I didn't help you cut, because I had no room to cut. No, our kitchen is so tiny. I just I just seasoned the meat. Yeah. Um, they started the roast for her, and you were do busy doing that. And then I come upstairs like, to check out the attic in the daytime. I tried to get her out when she got scared. Like, no, Sorry, I, but, I tried. I really did try. But I told her perfect idea is we we create a staircase on the side of the house that goes up and put a door up there so we can put whatever we want up there, and then we have like a little circular like one of those uh, ladders like a Chuck E. Cheese or something for the yeah. kids so they don't just fucking fall down the hole because our kids are ditzy. And my dad's gonna. I want an enclosed porch, so when he redoes my porch, I'm gonna be like, I want it enclosed, so mm -hmm. do it however you need to do it now. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to close it. And you know what we need for that? For what? summer or winter? One of those little wall. They're about yay long. Mm -hmm. It goes in the wall. It has heat and air. Like you see at some of the oh, yeah. hotels. So in the winter time. Yeah, that bitch is going to be heated. Yes. Because eventually I'm going to have a hot tub in that area. Yeah, so we can have the heat in the winter time and the cold. Or a jacuzzi tub. Yeah, but we can have it temperature yeah. controlled on the porch. We can go out there and smoke and enjoy it. Yes. And we're going to need music out there. Mm-hmm. I, I still, I tell him, my, my Lionel Richie. Station. All the speakers in the ceiling, like up on a base thing. Yeah. Yeah. I know how I want it. Dude, we're in a neighborhood now, but like if we're out in the, like we were. Yeah. You know, it's big, they, they sell like big uh, speakers that look like rocks. Yeah. Like if you have a pool or whatnot, you have a sound system set up and it looks like a rock, but it plays music. Oh. So you can have it set out or you want. It was really fucking cool. I mean, I already. Oh god, you just woke up. I haven't even drank a Red Bull. You're, oh, you drank a Monster. I haven't. It's in the fridge. Because I took a shower. I only drank like nine and a half of it. <laughs> I don't. I drink mine like 2.5. Well, not tonight because I was busy helping with the dogs and shit. And I go back and take a drink. It all said good today, though. It did good. They did. <laughs> it was a much quicker experience. Um, it was all day. Yeah. Well, I think they're, like I said, you're getting used to us. We never, we're never around. So we're like, what the fuck do these people want? We gotta take them outside and to make sure they use the bathroom take and their get them back and... in the house and all that shit. Uh, but today they 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 were up there in a quickness. They're good. an old group of dogs. Mm -hmm. Very old, um, poor dogs. But we get them taken care of. So it was cool. Uh, yeah. Blind, half dead. <laughs> yeah, poor poor dogs. It's a whole mess. You're just you're trying to like. You gotta, you gotta give him pep talks. Oh my. Yeah, I got you on that. I had a chance to do that. I gotta shave, I gotta trim that. Get my, you know, I need to. Buster. Shave Buster. My head. Come here, baby. Buster. Come here, Bubba. Come here. Hey. Come here. Hey. Buster. <laughs> yeah, they want, our room is like literally, like it's kind of like we just threw all our shit in there. We did. And that's all we could do. <laughs> we did just, just to get it out of the way. So it's kind of like <laughs> a little dangerous to walk around that bitch. And the dogs like to go in there. And then, like the pup, sometimes he gets stuck back there. He's like, I don't know how to get back out. And he's like, Rrr. I'm like, oh my God. So I got to, you know, maneuver my way. It's like fear factor shit. I got to maneuver my way around and then pick him up and then maneuver my way around with the mm -hmm. dog in my hands. After that, you okay? Yeah. What's the matter? My abdominal muscles hurt. Mm. Oh, I'm good. I thought you were pregnant. Domestic violence, 101. What? We don't say that dirty fucking P word. Pussy? Penis? Uh, my pussy's squeaky clean. Preparation H? Oh, is that squeaky clean? Oh, that's and that's, that's What's that, Nicki Minaj? Like, this pussy clean, this pussy squeaky. That's, cause remember we talked about that. Like, I don't, want yes. a, I don't want a squeaky pussy. Like, if that shit starts squeaking, I think there's a mouse in it or something or a rat. <laughs> I'm like, why is your pussy squeaking? That's just weird. Like, that's a Mr. Clean pussy. Mm-hmm. They're clean pussy. That we. That's her. My mom's nose. Dude, nice. That's the thing. Oh, I, I, it's probably a. I'd probably have to get permission to use it. Mr. Clean face mm -hmm. on a shirt and like Mr. Clean pussy. You can have that shirt. 
Oh lord. And you can like be flexing. I was like, yeah, Mr. Oh. Clean Pussy. It's like I got Mr. Clean Pussy. What? But sir, he's gonna be lost up in there. Well, we got Come here, Baba. We got a lot of shit to do tonight, baby. It's gonna be fun. Mm. You got good food. Got some teriyaki chicken going. We got. Our, we still haven't eaten our roast beef and cheddar subs, which we're gonna have to eat. Maybe you can have that for breakfast. Why? I said I want a fucking platter. Oh. It's fucking Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take me to give me what I want. Okay. Thank you. You hear that little guy? What? What? I don't need all that. You, don't, you hear that little guy? I'm not trying to make a, a baby. Well, that's what we do on Mother's Five Day. Enough. Mother's Day is just as good as Valentine's Day. Make a baby. And just like New Year's Eve. We, don't, we shouldn't even, we don't even celebrate all that stuff. No, not really. We don't celebrate. <coughs> we celebrate for the kids. It should be that way every day. Yeah, you're right. Like Valentine's Day is like every day in this house. Really, yeah. but especially for you. I fucking, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, not to toot my own horn, but I always, like I've, I've discussed, like I've, I just like really enjoy seeing you smile. So I do everything I can for you. I don't do anything. Not typically. That's why I'm so sore, I think. Well, you're busy. I was just trying to make sure, like, like, I can't, ugh. I can't do much anymore. So I just try to make sure your days are the best days they can be. And I like to surprise you sometimes and see that smile on your face. Same yeah, with the kids. I like to have the kids and everything else. And the roommate, when he got his custom Colts jersey, which was <laughs> he nice. He you then. Yes, he did. <laughs> Never been that way. I, I got that with old age, I guess. No, you used to be a fucking dick. I was a pretty selfish prick, yes. <laughs> I was like, you need to fucking stop right now. Mm-hmm. This or you can true. ride away on the horse you came in on. I don't ride horses. I don't like horses. I'm not a horse oh. rider. What? Okay. Oh, I, I just had a th thought that there wasn't a plug-in, but there is. There we is. just need to put an outlet cover on. Man, you know, ooh, I'm going to have to like, tighten out my fingers. I don't know if I have a small enough screwdriver to fit between the wall there. Oh, yeah, you will. Oh, no, I won't. Stop being a pussy. I can be a pussy. Oh God! I know where that extender is. I, I know where that extender is. That your parents got us for my little electric mm -hmm. drill. Um, it's in the toolbox. All I gotta do is like put that, face it down, and curl it over, and mm -hmm. then screw that in with that. I don't, I don't know really what you got. Oh, they got me an ex <laughs> not a penis the extender. extender. Mm -hmm. Not a penis okay. extender. It's it's one of those things that goes I on your. I bought you an extender because that sounds real good. <laughs> like you just ain't doing it right for a daughter. We'll get you the extender. Okay, I just want you extend it. No, it goes on you. It's flexible, too. Oh! <laughs> it just keeps sounding important. You hook it up to your drill, you know, and it bends. So, like, you can get in weird areas. <laughs> and screw it right in. Or drill it the way you want it. <laughs> Actually, it's like a screwdriver, I think. I don't think it's a drill. Oh god, yeah, that does sound fucking horrible. My parents got me the extender. My parents did. Like the, your dick just ain't doing it for our daughter. We got you the extender. Well, you can put it in weird areas. <laughs> Who says that? I just did. I mean, we're at forty-three minutes. We've been we've been long lately. Long, strong, down to get the friction on. Yes, sir. Come here. Speaking of sexual, that sounds sexual. Pack, peel, seal. My box. Oh. Yeah, pack it, peel it, seal it. I mean, <gasps> you gotta lick your fingers up. Smack the pussy. Right? You okay? Ain't time for bed. You just woke up. <laughs> we got some shit to do tonight. <sighs> this gave me more energy than a fucking monster. About to take a jello shot. Oh my god, and you got a whole 24 ounce banquet too. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a night. Mm hmm. It is. It's been a busy night. We got a lot of shit to get done tonight. Yep. And it's gonna be fun though. You're gonna do it though. Yeah, I got yeah, but most of the shit. Hold on. My days are off. Today's Saturday? Yeah. Oh shit. It's almost Sunday. I mean, I can't sleep all day tomorrow because <laughs> I gotta work Monday. <laughs> yeah, this is true. That should be fun. Yeah. 
should. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I like that Drake song. Uh, oh. Good times. Yeah, and then when we do the TVs, I gotta have you hold it up so I can. Uh, nope. I'm gonna be busy packing. I'm packing. I can't do it myself. I have to have you hold up. You're gonna position. do it yourself. I can't. You're gonna learn today. I can't physically do it that way. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I need to just like, <laughs> let me let me let me get the folds where they need to be. Fucking pencil. But yeah, you gotta hold it up. I can't hold it and draw it. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. You have two hands for a reason. God gave you two hands for a reason. Well, I need to hold it steady. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she said. And I gotta level it out. Hold it steady. Okay. When you're pissing. Y'all done? Yes. All right. Well, thanks for watching, motherfuckers. 45 minutes later. Woo! Tang. Oof. <laughs> I'm stud. I'm Mrs. McStud. We'll catch you bitches tomorrow for Shit Dick Saturday, Sunday. Mm. Sloppy, no. sh sloppy Shit Dick Sunday. Eh, deuces, bitches. Mm -hmm.